hi guys let's do an experiment because and we must do it fast because now the dark the dark is coming let's say you are like me and often you want to go in the bush light and you leave the so at home and the axe at home because you have already enough of stuff in your let's say a haversack you have tackle books and that kind of stuff but and then you come in a situation in the bush the, then you think bloody hell I should never leave that have leave that axe at home maybe we have a solution for that I don't know <clears throat> but let's have a look at this uh, I think you should call it an survival axe head or skinning tool should could this be something to have in your haversack if you want to go light as an not as good as an axe of course but better than nothing it is like this and now I'm going to try to attach it on a stick and uh, like I said we are walking light in the bush and uh, for this work I'm only going to use I will cut down this stick with a Swiss army knife rucksack and this stick that I'm going to use as a baton I have just break off because this is hardwood and this, this is greenwood and uh, and you also must have some kind of bigger knife that you can I'm gonna like this but you can because I'm gonna try to make a crack here to put down that blade it would be easy if we just do like this take our knife and baton down to put in the Accent, but then I don't think it's going to be strong enough. And then I'm going to put on some. When I have put it in here, I'm going to put on some bank line, and I prefer bank line before paracord because how should I explain it? When you tie something it's gonna suck in because of the tar far more better than expensive paracord I have a friend I hear a crow in the distance okay should we start then before it gets dark to do this crack here going to be the hardest part and I am not sure if I'm gonna if it will be able if I must do it like this I'm not sure but I think I take the thicker part of the stick right there or maybe I should starting like this And there it cracked all the way up, but maybe it, it will work anyway. <laughs> I have a baton down my glove.
now I must in some way tie the knot here, uh, tie tank line here. But this part of the axe head is sharp. So we should see what, like I said, this is an experiment. Improvise and overcome. I don't have a clue if it's going to work or not. We put on some. I think this is size 36 bank line. Don't cut yourself when you're doing this. Fun. Okay, here I have find what I should say a beautiful fatwood stump. Classic, look like horns sticking up. Should we try our our homemade survival axe then? And in 30 seconds, a handful of fat wood. I want to say that I don't like to put my blade in this kind of hard fat wood because sometimes they are knots here and they are so bloody hard. Then you're going to break your knife. You're not going to break it, but you're going to ship it. And uh, even if you had a very expensive blade, you may can chip it. And I have seen axes chip, chip like hell when you smack with full force and or your baton and hit the knot. That, and that's not a beautiful sight on the blade. This one I can okay, clean off. There you see. I'm going to save this stump for another. I have a pretty big fat wood. Collected pretty a lot of fat wood. I have already have it at home. Should we try to cut something else? But now I must fix this first. Here I, I have find an <coughs> I think it's an aspen. I'm not sure. Like I say, don't work as hard as with your axe. 
This would work. Pretty good. Very true. No match. This is a rock hard pine. And now that the uh, edge here has cut all of the all of the bank line. But even if I don't have any bank line, it's sitting there like hard as hell. I'm gonna have a problem to get it out, I think. Next time I'm gonna be a little more careful and don't try to split it all the way up. Because now it has sink through, going through. Well, I am certainly not disappointed. This work out well, and Peter, I hope your headlamp that we trade with work out for you too. Out.